Okay, so now we have question number 11, it was also requested by one of my students from um, the same paper, paper January 2018, IAL. <clears throat> this is about the equation of circles, and circles and such, okay? So it says the circle C has the equation x squared plus y squared minus 8x minus 10y plus 16 equals 0. The center of the circle is at the point T. We've got to do two things. We've got to find the coordinates of the center of the circle, which is the point T, and the radius of the circle, the length of the radius. And all of these can be done um, in one particular procedure. Okay, And that is to put this into the form x, well, I normally put minus, doesn't make any difference x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. This is the general form of the equation of a circle. Okay, the general form of the equation of a circle. You have x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. Now the center of the circle will be a, b, which will be the same number but the opposite sign of what's in the x bracket, of the x coordinate. And similarly for the y coordinate, it will have the y bracket, the, the same number, but the opposite sign. Okay, that's the b coordinate of the center. And r would be the radius. Okay, the radius would be the square root of this number. That's on, on the other side of the equation. So we have to take this and convert it into this form. Okay, so we'll show you how to do that. So um, both of these parts will be answered by doing this, you know, this procedure. So... Make some space there. We've got x squared. I'll try to be on my best handwriting. Plus y squared minus 8x minus 10y plus 16 equals 0. Just make sure I made a silly mistake with the signs. Stuff good. Now, what we want to do is we want to complete the square to make it look like square brackets. We need the square brackets, right? So for the x terms and the y terms, I need to complete the square. So what I'll do is I'll write x squared minus 8x. So I've got plus y squared minus 10y. And what I'll do is I don't want this 60. I'll just subtract 16 from both sides. So what I've done, I've just um, rearranged this. So I've put the x squared and the x term together. So it's not like I've added 8x to both sides or I've you know, subtracted 10y or added 10y to both sides. I've just, you know, moved them around, shuffled them around on the same side of the equation. I've just put the minus 8x next to the x squared, and I've put the minus 10y next to the y squared. But for the 16, I wanted to get rid of it from the left side of the equation to put it on the right side. So I subtracted 16 from both sides. That's why it's negative 16 here. Okay. Um, now I'm going to complete the square for the x terms, x squared and x terms. Now to complete the square, I write a bracket which is squared. Okay. Of course, it says 1x squared, so I'm going to put 1, just x there. Okay. And it's going to be a squared bracket. But, so that's when you square, you're going to have x times x, which is x squared. Then you're going to have to have two numbers multiplied together. Two numbers, sorry, when you add them together, you get the, uh, the minus 8. They must be the same number because it's a squared bracket, right? So it's going to be minus 4. So you basically, you take this number, the sign is the same as the sign there. And the number you write here is always a half of the coefficient of the x. You don't write the x here, just the number. Because when you square this, I'm going to get x squared minus 4x minus another 4x, which is minus 8x, exactly what I want there. But then I'm going to get, my, I'm going to get plus 16. If I square this, I'm going to get x squared minus 8x plus 16. I don't want that plus 16. I don't want it there, so I'm going to take away 16 from here. Okay, the square of this number always is taken away. Whether this is positive or negative, you always take away the square of that number. And then I do the same thing for the y and the y squared. So I'm going to put y squared bracket minus a half of this number, which is 5. And then I'm going to take away the square of this number, which is 25. And I've got the minus 16 on the other side. I'm almost there now. So now we've got x minus 4 squared plus y minus 5 squared. I've got minus 16 minus 25. Okay, that's negative. That's 30. That's 41. Minus 41 is equal to negative 16. Okay. It's just 25. 35 plus 6. Yeah, that's going to be minus 41. And then I'm going to add 41 to both sides. So I have x minus 4 squared plus y minus 5 
squared and you've got minus 16 plus 41. Um, that's going to give you uh, 25. 25 plus 16. That's 11. That's 41. Yeah, it's going to give you 25, right? So minus 16. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, so you've got 25 here. So you have x. Oh, that's it, basically. We're done. We've got it in that form we need. So now we can just read off what we need. As we said, the coordinates of the center so for part one, we can say part one, t has coordinates, the same number opposite sign. So four, five. And the radius is going to be the square root of this number, 25, which is going to be five. We only need the magnitude of it. So we don't want to put a negative sign, positive. Okay, so 4, 5 and is the coordinates of the center T and part 2, the radius is 5. Okay, so we have the answer to part um, A, A part 1 and 2 for question number 11. Okay, so we had to first re rewrite it in this completed the square form and then we can just read off directly from there the radius and we can re read off the coordinates of this, the X and Y coordinates of the center of the circle. So 4, 5 is the center of the circle, T, and the radius is 5. Um, I'll do the next part on the next video. Thank you for watching.